joke. You're supposed to be in this. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patrick O'Neill, and I own a company called Big Sky Bread Company. Big Sky Bread Company, first off, is a company that specializes in whole grain breads, and we've been in business for about 26 years. It was a retail operation first, and then in the past two years, we've changed it to just wholesale and farmer's markets. Our bread has no preservatives in, our breads don't have any added fats to them, so they lend themselves towards freezing. I worked for a company called Big Sky Bread Company. They were gonna open up bread stores across the north, Northeast. It just didn't work at first. They sold franchises, I bought a franchise, and they quickly ended up disappearing. I think there's three across the country right now, three or four still left. I have original recipes that I started with them and I have recipes that I created. For me, my first thing of the day is I have to figure out exactly what I'm producing and who needs what. I tally up my numbers, I give my tallies to my son who's doing most of the baking right now, and we scale out the ingredients. You need to have the right temperature of the flour, right temperature of the water, room temperature, all these things affect the, the product. Then it goes into what we call dough buckets and it has a floor time. The floor time helps it ferment and helps it to rise. From there, it goes to the table. We scale it into the portion size. From there, we put it into our bread pans and put it into the proofer. Once the bread pretty much doubles in size, we score the top of it, goes into the oven. I don't know if I have a personal favorite. I have what I probably eat the most of, probably the seven grain in my Italian. The main ingredients are white wheat and rye flour. We add fermented grains to it. The seven grade bakes for at least an hour. When it comes out, it's, it's dark, it's brown. It has all the crevices from the scoring. It takes hours to cool down because of the size. It has its following. Our labels are real clean, salt water, flour, and yeast. We produce about 15 different varieties of bread for our farmer's markets each weekend. At some points, I've uh, made probably 70 different types of breads. People mostly enjoy the basics. I was late. Okay, you know what? I was about <laughs> 10 minutes late, bro. I, I left a little bit late. I got a phone call, uh, I guess about 22 years ago, uh, from the Westchester Farmers Market, asking me, hey, are you interested in coming to Westchester to sell your breads? I went up and took a look. And I said, yeah, this looks like something we could do. 
And what we do is set up tables and tent, produce our products, what we think we could sell, and set out our wares. We set out our products and we talk to people about bread. That was my first taste of farmer's markets, and uh, I realized how much I enjoyed that. People come into our store, they enjoyed our product, they liked our product, but I'm open six days a week for that. A farmer's market brings those customers into a four-hour window. That gave me a great opportunity to sell a lot of bread in a short period of time. I quickly looked for more farmer's markets. Years ago, uh, at the peak of it, I was doing 19 farmer's markets a week. COVID has changed a lot. My biggest farmer's markets, which was University of Penn, not operating. Students are starting to come back, but it's a tenth of what it normally is. It's just not worthwhile. I've had some farmer's markets that were four hours markets, became two hour markets. So I've had a big chunk of my business disappear. In the short term, my, my goal is just to survive this. I mean, we, you know, we, have, um, we have less business. We have uh, we have to get through this. I think, I think we're making it work. My son Andrew will end up taking the business over at this point. That's, that's the goal. All three of my children have worked for me. But Andrew has continued with this business and enjoys this business as much as I do. He worked the counter, dealing with customers. He made sandwiches. He ended up um, working with the bakers. He has become the lead baker in the bakery right now. Uh, I fill in for him at this point. When we moved to our new location, uh, we, we had to invest some money into it, and I don't know if I would do this if he didn't want to continue with it. What I enjoy most about this is just making the bread. When we dump the product on a table, the way the dough feels is very satisfying. Why it feels that way, it, it just, it just, there's something about handling it. It's a living product, it's a live product. Some breads, you know, you could be rougher with than others. Some breads you have to need to be very gentle with. So they all have a little different feeling. And when they feel perfect on that bench, it, it's very satisfying. And the other really satisfying part is selling it to someone. Selling it to someone who, who, who waits in line for that bread. I enjoy that, you know, that customer when, he, when I give him that loaf of bread. He's satisfied or he's happy. It's comforting. Bread is a comfort food. It, it, it's comforting to make it when you eat it. You know, it, that, that's a big part of what this is. I, I enjoy this job. I, 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 get a, I get a lot out of it. That's the biggest thing is that, you know, I enjoy what I do. And I, and I feel that's an honor. Most, most people go through life and it's just a job. You know, I enjoy it. That's pretty much it, you know, how I feel about it.